What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicolai Espresso and welcome back to the final video here today on the channel or so it probably will be of Black Ops 3 DLC 4. With this, we're going to be talking about Rupture, the brand new map here or rather the reimagination of outskirts from World of War in Black Ops 3. This one was something of somewhat of a topic of discussion because of one specific feature which we're going to be talking about actually in this map because out of this gameplay, honestly, it's the coolest thing here because we ended up in a 3 on 3 or a 3 on 4 something like that. So we didn't get too much action, and if you guys remember, Outskirts is actually a huge map. So this is just a scale, it is a massive map in Black Ops 3, so it's a little bit of a change up than what we're used to in Black Ops 3, but it's something that really would work well with a full team, but it didn't really happen within the capture event. So that said though, huge thank you to my good friends in Activision for allowing me to come out to COD XP, get footage of Modern Warfare Remastered, Infinite Warfare Multiplayer, and Black Ops 3's DLC 4. None of this would be possible without their hospitality, so huge thank you to them. And with this one, I guess we can just talk right about it right now. The first thing that I really want to point out is that once again, the mechs actually are in Black Ops 3. There was some air quote leaked footage that came out about this, but with COD XP being playable to everybody, doesn't surprise me at all. It is something very interesting. It was going to be the representation of tanks, but in a form that was not tanks. So for the first time in multiplayer in years, we have vehicles of some sort here with this. So that is super exciting. They are really not that overpowered. Tanks in World at War were kind of a problem because some people would just abuse it. They would take a lot to kill the tanks, but these ones really just take like three clips of a regular gun. But if you use the rockets or some other detonating charge here with it, it really isn't that hard to take them out. So it's not anything you really have to be too worried about. Yes, it is something that adds a little bit more of a awareness sense to your game, but overall, it's something not too bad. The map itself is quite large once again, just playing right into how Outskirts was in World of War. So that's something we might need to adjust to as Black Ops players and getting used to the smaller to medium sized maps here within the game. So that said though, it's a really cool map. I'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay here. Probably not the full thing because once again, it got a little bit stale and boring because we played 10 minutes of a three on three or a three on four in a massive map and it just did not really work out. So that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like down below if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. And of course, leave your thoughts down there in the comments. Are you guys super excited for DLC 4 dropping tomorrow or do not necessarily care too much? We're going to be on the grind covering absolutely everything you need to know here within DLC 4. Hopefully streaming some zombies and the Easter egg hunt maybe even. So that'd be really cool. But that said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace. Enemy has seen. Securing Bravo. Hostile UAV incoming. Losing Bravo. 
Alpha. Loot Bravo. Securing C. We're being dominated. Take those positions. Charlie, secure. Securing Bravo. Losing Charlie. Nice work, Black Ops. Get ready for the next round.